Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in the subject computer programming is arrays. So this is one of the important topic uh, in uh, computer programming. So let us see uh, what is this an array and uh, how many types of arrays are there. Okay, let us continue. So what is an array? An array is nothing but it is a group of related data items sorry related data items that share a common name that share a common name that is the definition of the array what it means array is nothing but a group of related data items some related data items will be there those items share a single name that you call it as array a particular value in an array first write let me write a particular value in an array is identified using its using its index number or subscript so what is this so if you want to find any particular element in an array suppose this is an array array these are all group of related data items that share a common name suppose uh, name is uh, swap so this is a swap array name so this array name is having group of related data items so these are all in each look uh, location a data item will be stored okay suppose uh, swap 1 0 1 2 3 these are the memory locations so in each memory location a data item will be stored so these all data items are related to these all data items share a common name that is the swap it sharing a common name swap so these are all related data items sharing a common name swap you call it as an array so if you want to a particular value in an array is identified if you want to find out any particular value in an array swap you can use with the help of index number or subscript index number is nothing but 0 a 1 2 3 these are the numbers index number allocated to each data item in array so that is about the error what are the advantages of using arrays let me write the advantages the first advantage the ability of use a single name to represent a collection of items it, the ability it is having the ability of use a single name so for all related data items we are using only single name single name to represent a collection of items to represent a collection of items and to refer if you want to refer to an item by specifying the item number that is the index number you can refer to a particular item by specifying its its name index number or a subscript it enables the user to develop it enables user the user to develop concise and efficient program so this are this is advantage of using the array you can assign a single name to a group of related data items now coming let us see how to declare an array so in this video i'll explain only the basic concept of the array 